Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be the home fragrance empties for the month of September. And it is crazy to think that we are already at October. I feel like the month of September has just flown. Um, and it appears that it is time for October since I am white as a ghost on camera right now. Holy moly. Um, so anyways, I'm actually really quite proud of myself this month. I have burned through quite a few things. Um, I have a lot more to share with you than I did last month. I feel like August's home fragrance empties were kind of disappointing. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with wax melts because that's kind of what's on top. Um, so I'm going to talk about a brand new favorite. This is Better Homes and Gardens Candied Caramel Pecan. And it does have the little, uh, limited edition little button right here. So I assume that means that they only made like a certain amount, but this, oh you guys, it's actually quite reminiscent of the Coffee Cake Swirl by Sensationals that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. That's my Holy Grail scent, but it's just different enough. Like it has a lot more of like that nut tone, which I think comes from the pecan note, but it is just a warm, um... It definitely smells like the picture. It smells like you're baking some sort of like cake or brownie or cookie or something that has like the pecan note, the caramel note, like a brown sugar note. It's delicious. And I ran out and bought several more uh, at my Walmart because I definitely want to have these and I don't want it to like disappear before I have a chance to buy any more. So there is that one. And then of course we have three. <laughs> Vanilla Cookie Crunch by Better Homes and Gardens. This is like a 100% holy grail for me. It is a just a pure sugar cookie. It just smells like you're baking sugar cookies like with some butter. Like it's delicious. I will not be without this. It is always in my house. You will probably see it every single month in my empties videos. Uh, which brings me to another one. I have a small one and then a big clamshell of the Sensationalist Coffee Cake Swirl. This is just... I talk about it every month. I just go on and on and on and on. But seriously. Oh my gosh, you guys. It smells so good. Um, I definitely will not be without this one. It is my absolute favorite of all time. And so I've started buying the value pack. Because you can actually buy this for, I believe it's $3.47 at Walmart. And these are $2. So you're actually saving about $0.50 cents if you buy the big one. So there is that. And... That is all of the wax, so let's get into the candles. I just had one little mason jar. This is Bath & Body Works Cinnamon Sugar Donut. And it doesn't have a whole lot of fragrance left. It kind of burned itself out. It just kind of smells like soot at this point. But the notes on this are crushed cinnamon, sugar crystals, and a homemade donut. And it was delicious. Um, the throw, since it was a mason jar, was not very big, so... I actually really want to go back and get one in the three wick and see how the throw and the burn and all of that is um, in the bigger candle. But I did like this one. I definitely think that I will purchase more of them in the future. So then we have pumpkin French toast from Bath and Body Works. How cute is this packaging? So I absolutely love this collection. Um, I don't really know if it tells me like what the collection is, but. It is like all the ones with the cutesy little um, stickers and then they have the pumpkin on the lid and I just love it. This one, it doesn't really have a lot of scent left, but the notes on this one are warm maple syrup, pumpkin spice, and caramelized brown sugar. And I definitely get the maple. It kind of just smelled like, like toast or waffles. Like it smelled like breakfast, but then it also had this delicious like bakery pumpkinish scent that was so good. So I really love this one and I will definitely repurchase it in the future. The throw was great. It burned great. As you guys can see, there's like hardly any sooting and it burned all the way down until it burned itself out. So love that one. Then we have cinnamon caramel swirl and this is not the lid that goes on it because this is not a fall candle. This is actually last year's uh, Christmas line packaging. The notes on this one are freshly ground cinnamon enhanced with silky vanilla caramel in this sweet fragrance or a holiday treat. In the sweet fragrance of a holiday treat, excuse me. So this one, it's just, it smells like soot now, but it's just very cinnamony. It's very, just a nice bakery scent. It does have a pretty strong throw. I don't know if they're going to come back with this one this year, but I purchased this one. I believe this is the one that I got at the Mall of America when they had like the 
old candles there for 50% off. So I would repurchase it if they did bring it back. Here is the one that that pumpkin lid goes on, which is another one of these really cutesy little um, labels from Bath and Body Works. It's pumpkin cupcake. So the notes on this one are whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and a vanilla cupcake. On cold, this doesn't really have any scent left, but on cold, it is, I mean, it is delicious. It really did smell like a cupcake. That's what drew me to it. I was like, oh, this smells so good. Like, it smells like I could eat it. But when I brought it home and I lit it and I, you know, just waited for it to wow me, it just really didn't. The throw was not very strong. I really couldn't even smell it. I had to be like standing, I, I always burn candles on my bar, and I had to be standing like right at the bar to be able to smell this. So, I don't know, maybe it just had burn issues or um, what, but I probably will not repurchase one in the future unless it's like dirt cheap at like a semi-annual sale or something because I really don't feel like I got the money's worth out of this since I couldn't smell it. So, kind of a disappointing little dud for the end of this video, but... That is it. Um, I know that my candle empties are still very, um, very small compared to uh, those of others. I know that a lot of people um, just burn through way more things than I do, but I find it takes me a little while. Um, I really like to savor my scents, and um, sometimes you just get into a routine and you just kind of forget to like switch out the wax in your warmers or whatever. So. Anyways, what I can find down below, I definitely, what I can find, I will definitely list down below. I don't know why that was so hard for me to get out, but anyways, if you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys have been burning this month. What, what are your fall scents? What should I try? Um, all that good information. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation down below. So anyways, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.